what the crowd have come to have a look at. Certainly the Zulu Reynolds in centering now for this heavyweight contest. This is the fellow that's brought kickboxing to its floor here, not only in Victoria, but in Australia. Stan the Man Longanini, number one contender for the world title. And the crowd love him down under. That's right, we've all come to see Stan ambassador for the sport and I had a lot of his fights in America made a name for himself over there and now he's here to show us once again what he's got and the crowd uh, stand as the belts of which he does hold are uh, now brought into the ring Sport bigger in the United States. It yeah, almost has a cult following in relation to a lot of the actors in the States. Some of the names Chuck Norris, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Patrick Swayze. They give the sport that little bit of a Hollywood touch about it. It's right, it's a famous sport, there's no doubt about it. Donna Goodson, the man in charge of Stan Longanides in here tonight with his entourage. <laughs> The colourful affairs, all the hype of the theatre. And this is no exception down under the night here at Festival Hall here in Victoria, Australia. Stan the man, the hero in Melbourne, especially amongst the Greek community. Look around Hollywood, look at that robe. And a born-again Christian. One of the true gentlemen of the sport. He's also extremely well respected and admired by many martial arts enthusiasts. Now there's Pete Cunningham as Stan does a little bit of limbering up. We've come Very to know that as part man. of his part of his trade as he walks into the ring. The splits. Right, the full splits. Years of martial arts training takes to achieve that. Especially with a stock, stocky, tough body like Stan. Pete Cunningham just wishing him well. World champion. One of Stan's mentors. Both fighting out of the Jet Centre when they go to the States, well, especially Stan, anyhow, but it's home for Pete Cunningham. Stan has had to overcome a few adversities leading up to this fight. That's right, I believe he had some sort of virus early in his lead-up preparation to this fight, but I believe Stan's all well now. He was still a little bit bronchy at the press conference about five days ago, but I know full well if he wasn't right, he wouldn't prepare himself or he wouldn't attempt to turn around and fight this guy in here tonight. Zeddy, the Zulu Reynolds, the number five contender, fought Dennis Alexio, the world heavyweight kickboxing champion in Las Vegas. Lost the fight on a points decision after 12 rounds, so anyone think that can go 12 rounds with Dennis Alexio has yeah. got to be respected. You have to respect that. But Stan's the sort of man that'll starve his... He'll starve his mind of any doubt at all. He comes into the fight 100%. Win, win, win. Zenny, four or five inches taller than Stan. Ladies and gentlemen, right, he has a reach advantage and he's very fit, very cut Vegas. up. Let's go to our round to Ray Connolly. Lady of Song, Kate Severano. Kate Severano in centre ring there with Ray Conley at the moment, just to wish him the fight as well. I think I've got too well. many clothes on tonight, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I had less on, I, I'd be more appropriate. But good luck, boys. Have a good fight. Make it fair and decent. Enjoy yourself. Good on you. Thank you. And for those of you overseas who don't know Kate Severano, she's one of our top recording artists here in Australia and has been to the United States. She looks great. She's really enjoying herself tonight too.
with dignified pride, Blitz Kickboxing Promotions presents the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 two-minute rounds between, from the red corner, scaling 88 Point five kilograms, hailing from Columbia, Missouri, the United States of America, robed in leopard skin trunks with gold band, currently rated fourth in world listings, spy rating flamboyant visions of enthronement, Zenny the Zulu Reynolds. Well, as only Ray Conley can describe it. <laughs> That's exactly right. You're a very attractive pair of togs on there, too. His opponent <laughs> occupying the red corner, scaling 85 kilograms, resident in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, wearing black trunks with gold sequin stripes, and a black band, national, American, North American title holder, defending his championship this evening, gregariously exulting in gladiatorial triumphalism, Stan the Man Longanides. Well, Ray Connolly introduces Stan Longanides to the crowd. And not short on an adjective or two. It's his trademark. To officiate as referee, a former Australian amateur and professional bantamweight champion, Billy Mayles. Right. Ringside judges, Percy Lanciane, Johnny Pacusi, Michael Spinks. The world title. Gentlemen, please. Shields, knuckle part of the glove, okay? I want a nice clean fight. Keep your heads to yourself, all right? Shake hands now, and best of luck to both of you. All right, the war about to begin. Peter Blumson, the Australian cruiserweight champion. You ready, John? Here at ringside, ready? commentating with me you this ready? evening. The start of round one, for those people who have never seen Longanides fight before, next? Powerful leg kicker, Extremely probably his best powerful. weapon. He uses those leg kicks very well. He comes in, he charges his opponent, bounces the leg kick off and fires with left hooks. And big right hands. So then he has to use his jab, his reach, he's got to keep away. Get on his bike almost and not let Stan catch him inside. This intercontinental heavyweight bout. In the black trunks with the gold braiding, Stan Longanides, the leopard skins, Zenny the Zulu Reynolds. And already you can see that Reynolds is fairly wary of uh, Longanides' kicking power. That's right. The front kick from Zenny, Stan just pushes it aside and counters with the leg kick. Gonna get him, Stan. Once again, we get a chance to have a look at the uh, back of the right side of Reynolds already. There is one huge red welt. Once again, another extremely powerful leg kick. Yeah, that one hurt Reynolds. Probably a little bit of an advantage down here sitting at ringside, being able to have a look at the damage that. Uh, Already, Longanides is doing to that leg. That's right, and this is a 12 round, and he mightn't notice it too much in the early rounds, but six, seven, eight rounds. He'll have trouble standing on that leg. Oof. Already limping. Very calculated fighter stand. Stalking his man. Sweeping. Big over the hand right. And Reynolds in the corner. Frustrated not being able to actually find out what Longanides is doing, although he's a lot smaller. 
working downstairs. Have a look at Reynolds go to the corner. We'll just see what the... Almost a limp as he walks back there, Rob. I think the arse will be applied fairly quickly. Good round from Longanides. And Dana Goodson and Pete Cunningham working in that corner on Stan Longanides. Now, let's have a look on replay again. We might be able to pick up the kick that does the damage. Just have a look at that left thigh, inside that left thigh now. You see Stan faking here. He's, he fakes left, he fakes right, and then he comes with a big right kick. He follows with those powerful punches inside. And this is where Reynolds can't put a glove on him. He's underneath there. The first of 12 rounds. But uh, it's quite evident at this early stage that Longanides is going to work downstairs. Exactly right. He's going to punish the legs, come over the top. Looping right and left hands. Seconds out. Seconds out, please. Stay there. When you're ready. Second of the second round. round. Kickboxing coming to the fore in Melbourne in the last 15 or 16 months. Mainly due to the credit of this man, Stan Longanides, in centre ring. And it certainly brought the crowd out. Longer in the reach, Reynolds, at this stage, but hasn't done any damage. Lightning fast overhand right from Stan. Touch them off. Come on, let them go. Enormous punching power, Longanides. Later on in the fight, we might get a chance to have a look. And oh, we'll see all that leg is hurting stuff. already. That's the damage. And then he's in a lot of trouble early. Stan fakes the leg kick again. Faking. See, he fakes his leg kick and comes over with the right hand then. He's got Zenny very wary of those kicks early in the fight. Enormous punching power from uh, Longanides. I was about to say a little bit later on in the fight. If we get a chance, we'll see how the actual body comes through the air. And all the body weight will come behind the punch. Right this one. There you go. Stan almost caught one himself out. He comes back with a huge left hook. And another leg kick. Big overhand right. Oh, that doesn't look good for Zenny. Sitting from where we are, if you had a look at the damage that was done to that leg of Reynolds's, you would then find out why he probably couldn't get up after that. Well, there's nothing wrong with Reynolds's legs before the fight. He's an extremely fit and well-conditioned fighter. Stan is just too powerful and too heavy. Interesting, very shortly. In fact, he's right in front of our commentary position at the moment, is Eddie. And uh, at the moment, uh, they're applying uh, cold compresses to uh, to that thigh. So ice to the thigh to try and reduce the swelling. Now let's the have a front look. kick from Zanny. Stan counters his own front kick. Comes up with a looping left hook that doesn't catch the mark. Stan bobbing, moving, jumping left hook. Very awkward fighter. That's right. Zenny trying to stay away as much as possible. He wants to keep out of range. Catch caught with a leg kick again and see his face grimace there. Limping. Stan knows he has him in trouble now. The winner, by knockout, Stan jumps as, the, as if to come in again. Lines up, picks his target, record. catches the back Stan of the thigh. The back into center ring, Ray Connolly acclaims the winner, Stan Longanides. World Championship Trophy. We bring to the ring. Let's have a look on replay again. Jody Kefford. See the face of Zenny the Zulu there. He's, he's in, in fact, a lot of pain. He is in, in all sorts of trouble. He's looking for the leg kick, and in comes the straight right hand. Rocks him. In fact, uh, still down in front of us, Zenny the Zulu. Stan, a punching machine. In fact, nearly as you said before, Pete almost walked into one there, but. Got oh. back, got his momentum, and then a, a stunning left hand. That's the power of Stan. And another leg kick. Left hook. 
It's all over now. Let's go back to the centre ring as Ray Connolly talks with uh, Stan Longanides. Some of my best combinations really a right leg kick, left hook to the head. And uh, Zenny knew all about it. He knew that my best swimmers, what they were. Yeah, he tried his best, but hopefully from here there was no stopping me. You know, we're looking at Dennis Alexia in the very, very near future. And that's the only way to go. With leg kicks, I'm uh, unbeatable, you know what I mean? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank... I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the promoters involved. I think they did a great job. Uh, my manager, Nick Canos, Mauri Ducini, and of course, Silvia Morelli. They've done a great job. I'd like to thank the Martial Arts Control Board, everyone out there that come to support me. Um, I know the last fight I had in Melbourne was a bit rough, and I'm glad to see everyone turn up and really support me. I want to thank Zenny for coming out here, giving me the opportunity to get more credibility to fight Dennis Alexio. Um, going into this fight, Zenny went 12 rounds with Dennis, and that was on the back of my mind. But, you know, I've got to take every chance I get and capitalise. So, I want to thank my Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Well, I think Stan Longaniti summed it up fairly well. You can't turn around and dismiss uh, Reynolds as perhaps just another journeyman to come from the United States. You can see there on screen uh, where the uh, cold ice and compacts have been uh, put onto the back of the thigh. And as Stan said, he's unbeatable with leg kicks. And I read in the papers that he would have loved to come out here, but he couldn't because of his uh, commitment for the fight. And to see him turn up today really gave me a lot of inspiration. He's Australia's best fighter, there's no doubt about it, and everyone in Melbourne always gets behind him. There's no need for me to say anything. And of course, having our PD out here is another inspiration. And not to mention, of course, Dana Goodson. Dana Goodson for getting right behind me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So Stan still acclaiming uh, the people surrounding him that have probably got him to where he is at the moment. And of course, the fighter he was referring to would have been none other than Jeff Fennick. Jody so, Gafford about to undertake the presentation of this extraordinarily handsome trophy to stand the man undefeated world champion hopefully we might be able to uh, get Ray Connolly to have a chat with Zenny Reynolds in a moment but uh, fairly, dis fairly disappointing night for him at this stage well an early night well it certainly is an early night but uh, a magnificent build of a guy for a start as uh, Reynolds but uh, the brutality of those leg kicks of Stan Long and Eddie's he just could not have the power to match them and as we said before the fight for those people overseas that haven't seen this guy fight before Stan Long and Eddie's that's his greatest weapon and that's the, the weapon that I believe will probably take him to a world championship that's the weapon that will he'll have to use the full effect against Dennis Alexia well if this guy's been 12 rounds with Dennis Alexia I mean You've got to throw the likes of Stan Longanides into the match with him, you know, with, with utmost confidence. Well, Pete, I've enjoyed the night. Do you see Stan Longanides perhaps going on to becoming world champion? I think it's definitely the case. All right. I think he's out there after Dennis, and then it's a better lookout. Those words, of course, from Peter Blumson, the Australian Cruiserweight champion. I've enjoyed the night here at Festival Hall. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage. It's been a great fight night. Our fingers crossed from an Australian point of view that Stan Longanides can go on and become the next world champion. From us here, good evening. You can't touch